Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, and in this video, we're going to take a closer look at the WordPress XML file that's generated when you use the export feature inside the admin dashboard. And you get there by going to your dashboard, then going to tools, then export. You can export content on your site, and it creates an XML file, which we're going to take a look at right now. So we're in my downloads folder right here. This is the file. It's the extension is .xml, as you can see at the end. And that XML stands for Extensible Markup Language, which means it's a language that's, there's certain rules that you have to follow to make an XML file, and they're human readable and machine readable. But at the end of the day, it's just a regular text file. So you can open it in any text editor, which includes Notepad. I have a program that I use called Sublime Text for the Mac. So this is the XML file. This is everything it contains, and this can be used to import data into your WordPress site. At the very top, there's some information about what's in the file. It also adds a caveat right here that says this file is not intended to serve as a complete backup of your site, which is very important to note. Exporting content is not the same as backing up your site. And then down below that, it has instructions how to import this file into a different website. And then below that, it has some WordPress version information. And then it has some general website information under the channel tag. And then down below that, we get into the actual pages. So when we get to the item tag, that's where we start to see different pages. Each item will be its own page in this file. So under the item, we have the title tag. So that's the title of the page. There's the link, which is the permalink of the page publication date. And what I was saying before that XML is designed to be human readable and machine readable, it really is. If you take a look at this, you can just based on the tags, you can figure out what it what it means. So it's human readable. The creator, Bjorn, that's my username. I was the one who made the page. Uh, again, there's the, the permalink, but this is the permalink to the theme, not to the actual page itself. There's a description, which is the excerpt field inside of the, the page creator. So if you don't add an excerpt field, there'll be nothing in the description. Then there's the content tag. And it lists all the content. This is a very short page. This is actually the, the, it's the default sample page, so it's very short. If this page was a lot longer, there would be a lot more stuff. And then as you go down, you go through, I'm not going to go through every single tag, but as you go through it, you can see all the information that's imported and exported. And say you wanted to export an XML file, but then you wanted to publish on another WordPress site, but you wanted it to be future published, or you wanted it to be backdated, you can actually change the post dates right in the file. And then whatever those post dates are, that's when it will be posted or when it will be backdated to when you import it. And that goes for everything. You can change the title, you can change the content, you can change the description. Anything that's in between the tags, you can change without causing too much damage. And then we have another sample page. And if you scroll down, we see the item close tag and the new item opens. This is the new page. So we have the sample page again. This is a different sample page. You can tell because the post ID for this one is 36 and the post ID for the one above was 35. So I have two different sample pages on this site. This is just a demo site as well, so I don't really care that I have two sample pages. And then we have the item close again, item open for the next page. This is a short codes description page. As you can see, there's much more content than this one. much more content. Then we have the item close tag, new item, and you can just go through your whole XML file and you can see what exists in there. And what you can also do, something that WordPress doesn't really let you do too well, is when you export, you have some options of what to export. You can export based on the publication date, based on the status of the article, whether it's published or a draft. You can export based on who the author is, but what you can't do is go in and export just one page. If you want to do that, 
you'd have to export all of the content or you have to export a time range where you know that page exists. And if you only publish one page a day, then you could pick the specific date that the page was published and that would export just the one. But if you do have to publish or export all of them, you can then go into the XML file and delete everything you don't want and just re-upload the new page. And I'm actually gonna do this right now because I'm gonna make another video that shows you how to import and I don't wanna re-import everything. So I'm actually just gonna make a new page. It's gonna be a new sample page and I will delete everything else. From this item opening tag, I'm gonna scroll down, highlight everything and delete it. So here we are at the very bottom of the page and you wanna highlight right down to where the closing item tag is. You do not wanna delete the closing channel or closing RSS tags, but you can delete everything else. So now our XML file is very short. It just has the, the site information under the channel tag. And then it has one page, we're gonna call this sample page, sample page import. I'm gonna give it a new ID so it doesn't conflict with the existing IDs that exist on the site. I'm gonna leave the date as it is, leave everything else as it is. Just gonna change the page IDs and I'll change the URL. The URL slug is this one right here. And then I'm just gonna save this file and then re-import it, but that's for a different video. In this video, we took a deeper look at the XML file that WordPress generates, and don't be afraid to open it up. Go in there and look around. If you see a tag that you don't understand, or if you wanna look up what C data means, or you wanna look up what the, the guide without the E tag is, you could just Google it. Just type in XML space, then whatever the tag is, and then you'll find a detailed explanation of what that is. And before long, you'll actually be writing your own XML files. So I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you subscribe to our channel, check out our social media, and go to wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.